Hello Pisces. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. This week we are working with the Raja Tarot. Pulling out for our career, love life, and personal. Keep in mind, this reading will not resonate for every Pisces placement out there, so feel free to check out any of my other readings or book a personal with me. That link will be in the description box below. Okay, Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. We're going to clarify with Rider Waite Smith deck. This is a brand new one. Okay, so the cards are just so crisp and fresh here. All right, jumping into career. We have the King of Pentacles coming out, Pisces. So this is a very lovely energy for you, Pisces. I feel like we're really taking initiative really taking the initiative to make ourselves financially stable okay or just to achieve what we want to achieve in the physical world even if it has nothing to do with money okay the three of swords and the six of swords is coming out to clarify that so wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck i definitely feel like this is an amazing time for you Pisces even though the three of swords is here and it is indicating that hurt that broken heart but we already knew that right if this reading is resonating for you you already knew that you had had your heart broken you already knew about this betrayal but with the six of swords you're really understanding I feel more deeply that it wasn't personal it wasn't really about you it was just that you it wasn't the right timing or you weren't on the right path like when things didn't work out in the past yes it might have hurt but it did open you up to you know the next step right and now we're kind of understanding the way everything's coming together for us we're understanding why things had to happen the way that they did Okay, so now in our love life, Pisces, we have Justice coming out here. Lovely card here from the Raja deck, okay. Really gorgeous. Okay, clarifying that with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups, Pisces. And the star on the bottom of the deck. Pisces, that's really beautiful, okay? Because someone is really truly seeing you. With the star, they're, they're recognizing your gifts, your abilities. With this Ten of Cups, this is you being loved for exactly who you are. So I feel with the Ten of Cups, I usually do feel like that is a card of self. You know, you can pull the Ten of Cards for just yourself, um, loving yourself exactly how you are. Um, but I am feeling in this case, you know, you do have it all, right? You love yourself and someone else is also recognizing and loving you for exactly who you are here you might not even know it yet okay because this knight of cups might still be on the way wow 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 pisces and justice is coming out so i do feel like you know this could be a past person it doesn't have to be um you know but i feel like this is sort of a balancing of the scales like if it's not a past person coming back to balance things out that's kind of what i'm feeling i'm feeling like this is a past person coming coming to you and 
and wanting to balance things out. At least, I feel like we're at least getting, you know, some sort of completion on a situation, you know? This might not be us even being in a relationship with this person, but this could be like an apology that we've waited for a long time. Just somebody saying, you know what, like you were right in that situation. Like this is a very deep validation at a deep level that really truly like, I feel like Pisces, there's someone out there who, there's a karmic situation, right? And it's imbalanced. And you know, I feel like it could feel like even to this person, like ever since they did you wrong, nothing's going right in their life, right? Because they have to balance that out. They can't, you just can't, you know, leave things in balance. So that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like someone did do you an injustice and, but you're understanding it. I feel like this does affect your career too, because I feel like this betrayal is maybe what allowed you to open up, okay? Or it could be separate, right? But I feel like regardless, the Seven of Pentacles is over this entire reading. So within your whole life right now, Pisces, you're just kind of taking stock of what's what's happened, right? We're looking at everything that's that's been planted and we're seeing what worked out, what didn't work out. You know, what what are we going to plant for the next harvest now, right? So, let's get into personal. 7 of cups. Yeah. So, we could be a little bit confused here, Pisces, and that's okay. Um you know, sit with that. It's a great space for us to imagine all of the possibilities, right? Clarifying that with the fool. Wow. Lovely Pisces. Lovely, lovely energy here with the fool. Oh my goodness. All the cards are trying to come up here. All right, King of Cups. Yes, Pisces, I feel like we got judgment on the bottom of the deck, okay? Really lovely here, okay, Pisces. There's no doubt in my mind, we are feeling a calling from deep within us, right? We might not have exactly clarity on what we're exactly doing or how things are going to play out but we do at least know the direction that we've got to jump right we know we know the first step and that's the most important step and here with the king of cups i do feel like you are a leader so this is like i don't know this is kind of a fun energy to me with these two cards combined i do feel like Pisces, you're very magical. You're very imaginative. And I feel like with this King of Cups energy coming out with the Fool, I feel like it's just like the best energy ever to me. <laughs> like I'm having a hard time explaining it, but it's just someone who truly to me is just in their highest self. Okay, they're, they're vibing so high but they're still youthful, right? That's how I'm feeling you are. I feel like you're really imaginative, but we're not getting like really caught up in any like negative emotions or, or being weighed down by our emotions. We're really free here and we're really able to hold space for others, but we're also just incredibly lighthearted. So I feel like Pisces, you're a very inspirational person person to others and with judgment and the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck I do feel like we're manifesting the perfect opportunity for us to you know use these gifts in our world and I do feel like we don't exactly have clarity 
but I also feel like we don't really need to have clarity. That's part of our magic, actually. Part of our magic is not having clarity, is, you know, this leaping without full, like we don't need full clarity, right? Because we're so, we're vibing so high, right? And this might not be resonating for you, but I feel like, you know, it's almost like that energy, like you just, you can lose control a little bit because like you're never gonna truly lose control here with the King of Cups. You know, you know your limits, like you know your boundaries, so you don't have to, you know, you just can be more free because you're better at putting up boundaries. I feel like that's like a big part of this. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling now, Pisces, but um, comment if any of that resonated for you. Let me know. Okay. All right, we have happiness coming out over your reading, Pisces. Okay, we're going to go ahead and read from the book because I love this book. Happiness, shimmering sunshine, the sacred landscape wants you to know. Click your heels and shout for joy. The signs are with you. Let your light shine. Abounding good luck awaits you. A gateway is opening for even more joy and happiness. Your life is expanding. Opportunities are emerging. This is the time to go forward with glee. Love deeply and fully. Embrace life with open arms. Goodness is flowing to you. The only thing to be aware of is to monitor your, ex your expansion in a metered way. Too much too fast can be overwhelming. All right, Pisces, I'm gonna leave it there. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with a friend. If you wanna book a personal, the link's in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. Follow me on TikTok at Amy Energy three, but most importantly, have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care. Oh my gosh, Pisces, I don't know how to end it. <laughs> I got a new phone and I don't know how to end it. <laughs>